Welcome people, this is OG Two Scoops and I'm here in Verulam next to the sign and guess what I found out that the town Verulam is not named after any Indian. The town was named after the Earl of Verulam which is a title in the peerage of the United Kingdom just like Baron or Duke. Verulam is a word derived from Verulamium which is a small town in Roman Britain that existed between 50 AD and 450 AD. In 1850, 400 Methodists settled in South Africa and named the town after the Earl of Verulam. And that's how we got the town named Verulam. So you better start pronouncing this word properly and stop saying Vellum and Vellum and Vella and all the other names. Parts of Verulam's residential areas are situated on massive hills with massive houses overlooking sugarcane fields as far as your eyes can see. But as I went down the hill, I passed Mount View Secondary School where I ended up at... I'm here at the very famous Verulam Primary School. Now, this school used to have up to grade 4 at first and then eventually, I think a couple years ago, they had up to grade 5. I tried to jump this wall to sit on top to see if the jungle gym is still there but then I hurt my back, my arthritis said hello so I'm just gonna move on. So people, I came down the road from Verlum Primary School and I met up at a place called Quick Bites. Quick Bites was formed in 1995 and they manufacture delicious Indian savory snacks that you find in supermarkets all over the country. They do chevda, seven nuts, murku and many more. All these products are proudly manufactured in Verulam. I went a little further down the road. I saw the McDonald's. I say turn and all of a sudden I came to a place called Under the Tree. These are Baba bus by on here. Anyway, this place here is notorious for very, very cheap and affordable uh, vegetables and fruit. They check good like a home of a cute vanga vanga over here. But that wasn't the only place. There's a place called Verulam Market, which I just had to go and see for myself. Okay, people. So I'm here at the Verulam Market. Now, this place is famous for. The farmers from back in the days would come here and sell the vegetables and fruits, etc, etc. And it's still happening. People from all over Durban come to the Valley Market to buy the vegetables. I think I came a bit late. Uh, the sections are closed here. Yeah? Ginger and garlic, madumbis. I greeted my auntie and she got me, except. She just they look at me weird, like I'm, like I'm a weird person. So the uncle got a lot of things there. We got top fruit and vegetables here. Yeah. Well, what's the things you sell over here? Spices, vegetables? We sell everything. Everything? Lemon, butternut, you name it. Shot. 10 rand, except. One shot, danya. 10 rand. Full pumpkin here yeah, for the Halloween. This place is called NS Farm Stall. And apparently, Verulam is in the Guinness Book of World Records for having a main street that ends right by a river. So I'm flying down here. I'm gonna drive like into the river and then we'll do like a, like a donuts in the river. The river is closed today. I think you oh there's it. If you go down here, you'll get to the river. I drove through the city center and it was quite busy with a lot of traffic. But I did drive past a place called Lakshmi Theatre, which was a huge cinema back in the days. We are marching on the streets of uh Fellum. I'm about to go to a place where some of you might recognize because maybe you came here for some other issue in your life but this is the actual Verulam court that you see sometimes in the news when we have uh, some cases some famous people the ENC is always over here and uh, I've never been to court in my life but I know a lot of people that have been to court and uh, this is one of the major courts here in, in South Africa in, in uh, KwaZulu-Natal in Durban This is how you end up in a court <laughs> and you act like this so I came down this hill and I came to the recreational grounds in Verlum. Back in the days, every Easter they used to have a massive charity fair hosted by the Verlum Child and Welfare Society. And people used to come from all over to support this amazing cause. So basically over here they used to have all the 
the, the wheel and the Ferris wheel and not the rotor and all those different rides. And you can see they made the aliens came here and made a big crop circle in Vallum. So Vallum is now a hot spot. It's on the Roswell conspiracy theories. If you watch the Discovery Channel, you'll find Vallum featuring over there because of alien crop circle. Okay, I'm just joking. Let me just go before I say something and people believe me. Anyway, as I go down the road, I saw some really old places of worship. This was a church and there was another one up the road as well. But I got to a place with a blue temple. Okay, so I stumbled upon the biggest thing in Vallum. This is the Sri, the Sri Gopala temple, which was opened by Mahatma Gandhi. The story goes as far back as 1880, when a group of indentured laborers who used to work at the Mount Morlan Sugar Estate used to come to the river every Sunday to conduct their prayers. They had a structure erected which used to get washed away every time the river used to flood. So one day in 1888, a piece of land was donated by another indentured laborer. A few years later, they erected two permanent shrines and in 1908, the building of the hall commenced, which was completed in 1913 and the official opening was performed by Mahatma Gandhi himself. So I drove in the opposite direction just to get a glimpse of the Hazelmere Dam. This dam is huge and it supplies water to most of the areas in the north coast. Then I took a drive, I found a top of a hill where I can have a look at all the sugarcane plantations around and just gather my thoughts. The sights were beautiful and then I sat down. So, I'm done with my journey around Vadlam and you know what, it was an exciting town. I, I seen a lot, I was so excited to see Mahatma Gandhi, uh, a temple that Mahatma Gandhi opened and um, I was excited to see the dam. I tried to go around the, the best, you know, best place I could get to see the dam. But what, you know, what I learned from Vallum is that, and I spoke to some people under the tree, and they were talking about the history of Vallum and, and how the community used to be also very close-knit. Um, and I think, you know, nowadays people are, you know, moving out or getting older and doing their own thing. So it's a little bit different, but they still support their small businesses. There's still support there for the marketplaces, there's still support for the people under the tree, for the small stores in Vallum City Centre, a lot of shops that, that were driving past that the people, the local people are still supporting. And that is the positives that I am taking from this video. The local people support the local shops. Like I was saying, I, I go to the major retailers to buy my potatoes, onions, tomatoes, whatever. Here in Vallum, they go under the tree. They go to the market to buy their vegetables, their fruits. They go to the local butcheries. I think I may miss one, but they go to the local butcheries to buy uh, their meat. And that is what we need. And if, uh, even under the tree, I saw people who were selling uh, all other kinds of uh, uh, groceries and uh, toiletries, etc. And the people were buying it. So. The positive I'm taking out from Vallum is that even though this community is massive, is t I think probably more than 70,000 uh, people, Indians that moved into uh, Vallum back in the days, it's probably a lot bigger now. The people have not forgotten their roots and where they are from. My name is OG Toscopes. I thoroughly enjoyed this trip and I'm looking forward to the next one. Stay tuned to my page. I'm not going to tell you now. I'll tell you on the day I'm going. Mojito's good and I'm out.